Hello. All right, boys. Here we are in the Cars Link Cup Series at Martinsville. Starting pole, Dark X Ray in the 24. Um, last week was interesting. Yeah, we were expecting a good Mar uh, Watkins Glen race. Didn't happen. Got Glenned out. Zevil getting his first career win, led the most laps, put himself in the playoffs. So Zevil has this race, Kansas, mm, Talladega, and Michigan to keep that up or defend it to make the playoffs, which only has 16 spots. Um, this race is going to be 75 laps. There's 75 points on the table per lap led, 10 points for most laps led. And Mr. Dark X Rain has already taken the 10 point bonus for the pole position. He's 34 points above the cut line coming into this, so that's pretty good. Dark X Rain, start, or not Dark X Rain, uh, Cody Ford starting second, one at the Denver Motorsports Park. And then starting third, Rob Pace, Frank Chilton, who's coming in for a cup race, finished in the top five in his cup debut at Twin Ring Motegi. He's coming here to Martinsville and hopes to continue that top five streak, but we know Martinsville is a very aggressive track. A couple things I need to go over here before we head over to Dark X Ray and see who his thoughts are. And Reggie, um, uh, we won't be using our ticker today as I am doing more ticker tests. And um, I don't have my bar that shows like who's talking as well because uh, I forgot to turn that on before we went in to qualify. And I didn't want to risk crashing my game, which would hurt the inner thunder algorithm a little bit. So a concern there. Again, playoffs are a big thing. Joy Payne starting second to last. Barry Thurston third starting 11th. So he's looking to extend his points lead even more. We'll see if that happens. Uh, NH still maybe lurking to catch that points lead. We'll see. The points championship will be uh, decided after Michigan, which is four races. Which after we finish this race, will be three races uh, from now, I think. So if I'm doing the math right. But. Um, gonna go ahead and uh, give these guys some room to talk uh, Reggie um, you have any thoughts uh, no not really all right uh, Reggie not having much thoughts there uh, Reggie Fogelman also doing well in standings he's a uh, plus 52 if I remember correctly so he's in good shape right now looking to defend that quite possibly offend the um, top 10 in standings um, Dark X Rain you got any thoughts only thing I have is every driver get on their key points and hopefully keep things steady. All right. About uh, two minutes to command again. Dark X Rain starting pulling that 24 Goodyear Chevy. Uh, one at Indianapolis. Uh, third career win in the CCS. And let's see what kind of cameras we got here. We got Spectator. Gives you a little bit of idea. More TV1. I know we're not using TV one because it looks weird. Look, doesn't look bad here, but around the track it looks kind of weird. You can see our top five a little bit with the uh, Kazo and uh, Eli the Wolf running up for top five, and some other drivers in the top ten as well. They're notable. Uh, Byron Webb making his second start along with um, Frank Chilton. Six and the forty-two Geff Jordan. You see Bird, Third Links Gaming, uh, Geff, and German Chick there. 81 and we'll go ahead and take a look at where our last week's winner is at right now um that's for 10th right there or actually 10th is uh third and gaming ninth is bird uh but last week's winner zevil uh did very well that race dark x rain also did well that race starting pull today in the uh 24 i think led some laps there but we'll see how it goes i'm um, not starting the best of positions it's actually the worst part of the pack to be, so hopefully he doesn't get clobbered. Like, i be a dead honest with you. I think half the field probably will be clobbered. I think I will have more than half finish, however, which is the goal. And not to have a caution every single lap. Uh, three laps was the goal, and we did meet that, meet that uh, for our tests, so we'll be running with that. Go ahead and go to TV2 here to get this thing started and we're going to go to the command here in about five seconds ish Drivers, start your engines. and the command's been given uh reggie you want to call us to the green here 
And uh, no restart violations for this race, uh, even if it is on the initial start, uh, because that just be weird. And uh, no double fall restarts uh, because it's short track. And to turn one, Dark X Rain holding the lead. Frank Chilton versus uh, Cody Fords. Those guys are teammates part time. Frank Chilton giving uh, his teammate a lot of room. There is Dark X Rain will lead lap one as we may be three wide here for second. That would be extremely dumb uh, as it they do do that. That is extremely dumb. Somehow they are making it work. Holy cow. What the crap. Holy cannoli. Yeah, they're really going for it. And Cody Ford will get crashed. Caution's out. Caution is out. Cody Forge. And again, single fire restart. So we will get some cooldown now. And Cody Forge did not need that. He'll be going to the pit road. But Dark X Ring going to lead it to the yellow. And Eli the Wolf, who was the aggressor there, will take second. As Field checking up a little bit there because of AI being AI at Martinsville. So we got that sorted out. But, uh,. And they do get that sorted out. Uh, 60 of Cody Forge is done for the day. He has called it. Wait, no, he's still in. Never mind. Uh, stays out on 12th. So we'll go ahead and take a look and see what happened to him. Yeah, he did not need that at all. And Bird right next to him didn't need it. Well, let's go back here a lap earlier. Helicopter. Full speed. Eli the Wolf sent it three wide. I'm amazed they made it through this corner, but it was bound to failure. Two teammates there, the 04 and the 60. 99 uh, track house driver, Eli the Wolf, who uh, needed a good playoff run. The 60, no really to go. 42 in the wall trying to avoid, and then just no room for f success. Bird lost quite a few spots, so did the 60. Bird did not need that in terms of where he's at in his points battle, so keep that in mind. Let's kind of chill a little bit, see what's going on up here with the leaders. Take a look at our top 10. There it is on the board. We made it, I think, two laps. Well, I think we can make it even yeah, more laps. Two laps. Well, I think we can make it even more here with the uh, single file restarts in place, as long as we don't get any crazy sins. Like, I'm dead honest with you, Dark. I think Eli the Wolf's going to send into turn one, but we'll see how that goes. We won't be arguing this time, but next time. Um, just to make sure the field is where it needs to be. We know at Martinsville is a very short track. 42 cars look quite a bit. We had an NCR, CCRS race here that had 46 cars, and there was quite a few stack-ups. And I see some cars still trying to gather themselves up, see what they need to do and where they need to be there a little bit. Yeah, Martinsville is a big track, so it's not really big there. But, uh, yeah, that happened. Cody Forge uh, still in the race. Uh, be our first yellow. Again, going green this time. 75 laps, got a long way to go. And uh, Yeah, but I think these guys know every position counts as points, so. That is true. Especially keeping in mind for that 24 car. Who yeah, he is leading right now, and thing. every lap, they've led all seven so far. That's seven points, plus the 10 point bonus they got for the pole, and maybe another 10 point bonus if they lead the most laps, which would be a spectacular points day if were to happen yeah he's looking to get out of the danger zone at this point yeah some car in the back and I figured out good thing won't have to hand out any EOLs or black flags but uh hopefully we can get another clean start here and I do expect so Sixty already charging back for positions that you see in the back. As a ninety-nine charging heavy on the twenty-four, he may get tight. Ooh, saves it. Oh, forty. Uh, the oh four of Frank Chilton in the wall keeps it clean. Oh, Barney Thresher the third sends it, and the fifty-nine. Oh, this is oh forty-two. They did not save it. Cody Forge again expended. 
big one in the back stretch here at Martinsville. Oh, that is a bad pile up. 89 1 in the 32 involved, and Cody Forge once again involved in a major accident. Let's see what happened here. And it looked like Giff Jordan and uh, Chasm may have gotten together. And the 42, and we've seen, yeah. uh, again, made it two laps. But uh, we'll see what happened here. Uh, 59, we know, got really scented in on the 40, who got into the. We need to go yeah. helicopter to get a good idea of this. They, it was doomed to fail, but Cody had nowhere to go. Uh, gets involved in T-Rex one race. Six had nowhere to go. I mean, the 42 did get pinned into the wall, and then the rest is... Yeah, I had that six... There. Had the uh, 60 knot got stacked up into that, that would they would have saved it, but unfortunately, it did not happen. Um, that would have been a... I would have saved it, yeah. Um... 32, nowhere to go. Ooh. Gets hit by his team owner in the 20s. 89, 1, 48, 97, 66, 51, 88 involved. I think everyone else gets slowed down enough in time. And then they race the yellow, which is an issue. Is a 60 car on pit road along with the 5. He has damage from that as well. Back to the leader of Dark X Rain. It's and kind of hurt, but it looks like he doesn't have that much damage. No, you don't have any damage, but uh, the 59... Start 11th has already found himself in 4th. He is looking to do something no one has done in CCS in the CCS since this move to Inter 2003. Win 4 races in 1 season. Him also having the points lead right now, which is very solidified at the moment. Um, makes it even more interesting. Frank Chilton there with a little bit of damage holding 5th. If he were to finish there, he would tie his debut start at Twin Ring Motegi. Uh, a few cars with damage in the back. I'll see if we have any retirees. We do. The 66 of Roach did not need that. Had a good run last week at Watkins Glen. Brad Stover, who is third last in standings, will call it a race. 21er Bert Caron Jr. did not need that. Uh, he He's still in the race, I think, but a lap down. He will. Uh, he did not need that at all. Uh, and Bradley Ream, who's been barely holding on to just outside the cut line, is a lap down as the 89 or as the 60 will now go a lap down as he may be out of the race we'll see he will be on the damage vehicle policy if he goes too far back to the field where he goes a lap down he'll be out of it but other than that 28 is still in the race and so it's 21 I believe 60 to be determined but uh yeah he's actually still in it but uh yeah, those cars in the back on damaged vehicle clock, so if they start losing too much pace, they will have to be manually moved from the race. As Cody would, he's had a pretty solid season. I think at this rate, he, I wouldn't call it a bad season by no stretch. So take what wins you can get and uh, go from there if I'm him. Uh, back to the leader, Dark X Rain again. Let's see if we can make it more than two laps on a start. We're going green this time. So in Cody's case, if another car comes out, he gets the free pass, right? Uh, if he's not involved in it. He's been involved okay. in it every single lap. Oh, I thought they were going green this time, my bad. It's calculated. Do another lap here. We're green lap um, 16. So every lap he leads is basically more points added up to his standings. 100%, yep. That does include caution laps, which he's ran more of than not. And we are going green this time by... 40 looking to get aggressive on the start. The 40 car is... I will say the 40 has had a pretty stellar season. Um... In terms of pace, uh, he just has not had any finishes to show for it, whatsoever. Yeah. He's really looking for his, for another win. Yeah. Don't want to be too antsy, though. Yeah, you don't. Uh, he is looking for a restart violation here if he doesn't get back in line, though, which he isn't. Uh, that will be a restart violation. I will have to give him a black flag. And black flag to the 40. Yeah, that is definitely a no-no. Yeah, he can't be doing that. So he's going to go to pit road. 
And he's trying to wreck the 24. And will wreck himself. What an idiot. Ooh, super aggressive. Wow. And will cause a stack up. And will cause three wide. I guess they showed how important how much these points is. And... They almost save it, but we will go under yellow now as they did not. The 48 was unable to save the car there. Uh, the 40 will be EOL'd on that start as well for an additional violation trying to wreck the leader. Not sure what happened there. It looks like the 48 has may have some suspension issues, but go ahead and take a look what happened there. It's very wide we've seen does not work here. There are a lot of unhappy drivers. Yep. All right, so it's caught in an unfortunate situation, to be real with you, but we've seen three wide with the 81, 42, and 76 up front. 20 got the 81 in the wall. Everyone stacked up and earned that. 40 car was the only one involved, really. 26 has some damage, 64 as well, but none too concerning. The 40 yeah. car will be added to the end of the line with that, as uh, we do have some cars going to pit road with some strategy. Uh, the, I think the 11 car got a little more damage and I'll credit to him, but uh, again, um, and it looks like uh, with that, the uh, 24 got beat to the line to the yellow as the 04 is in the lead now. We'll see what happened here on this uh, lap here as the 40 got in the wall. 99 sends it in deep, trying to take the lead. And Frank Chilton in the 04 is your leader here at Martinsville as he Full sends it three wide to the, oh, uh, 24 got sent to the wall by the 99. Oh, my gosh. Six got around. <laughs> Holy, this is wow. racing to the line, guys. No need to do that. Oh, I'm that, telling you, man. That's, this is all for points. It's that, a no-hold bar race. Yeah, that really hurt a lot of drivers. The 16 going around the uh, 88, Ooh. 67, 91, 26, 18. Again. Uh, it's still in the race, but he will get you level as well. We go back to front. Uh, Frank Chilton is your leader after the. Uh, he's got a little bit of damage too, but after the uh, 99 full scent on the 24, as a lot of those cars have damage from that. So we're gonna go ahead and EOL the 20 or the 40 and the 60. Or the six, rather. I'm telling you that these guys know how much important this race is just to stay into the playoff picture. They can only go green two laps. That's not mm. what we need. But Frank Chilton we, we could sneak away with something here. We'll see. We'll see. Still a lot of stuff to go. Real gaming freak with that win at Bristol. Also finding consistency. And a lot of cars in the top five with a good shot we'll take a look at our retiree list 67 oh joy paints was involved in that she will be oh, out of the race and that will definitely hurt the points lead consistency wise joy paints has had a very bad stretch um 21 bird crown jr two laps down because cars were involved in that well i'll give the 45 his lap back uh, once we go green actually yeah we'll give it back to him Our lucky dog of the day. Yeah, uh, the, he went a lap down before the 60 could. Probably had a issue as well. Um, here's where we're going green this time, according to the game. Or wait, no, never mind. I was fooled. Again. Okay. But other than that, retirees, the 88 of Jessica did not need that. Sean R did not need that. Well, Sean R is actually in a good point spot. He can flow into the playoffs at this point, but consistency wise did not need that. Joy Paints, this is not good for her stats at all. Uh, has most top tens this season and uh, they're currently on DNF streak that is not looking good and Barney Thresher right now in position to win his fourth race the season. He is looking to he's looking to clinch the season points championship earlier than uh, what we were expecting and then the 11 Evan H defending champion looking for a uh, another DNF here today as uh, he has the most DNFs of the season and that will add to another here today 34 still in it um, 54 maybe given a restart violation if he cannot get in line which it doesn't look like he might but uh 
Yeah, these guys, they really are antsy on the restart. And the 82 with a restart violation as well. Well, no, he let off, so I'll let it slide on the 82, but the 54 will have to serve a penalty. Here we go again. As a battle for the lead between Eli and Mr. Frank. See if they can keep it clean, and they don't. Ooh. These three right here. And he wrecks the leader! They check up! Still green! Oh, wow. And we stay green after that end. Big check up! Our greens may take the lead, but I don't think it's over yet. 82, a gaming freak. Barney Thresher the third. Three wide for the lead! Oh, he's yeah, around! He's really one Frank's thing. around! And Big one it here at Martinsville! I'm telling you, man, Frank caution Schilde. breeds caution. They made it three laps that time. Yeah, these guys are definitely desperate. They know what's at stake, but unfortunately, you do not. You just can't make it work. This was boom to failure. You had three cars leaning on each other. Coming into the corner, let's go slow motion here, see what happens. So the 82 may have gotten out of this with the lead, but the uh, 54 barely, oh, the 59 barely avoided the 89 as the 04 will go into the wall hard. Gunther also heavy damage as a 70, and let's look with we'll see what happens here. 99 heavy damage, 59 dark X-ray heavy damage, 8 German chick 81 heavy damage, maybe, and these cars have no time to slow down. 51 heavy damage. I mean, you literally have a rookie trying to get his first win, and you also have guys that are literally at the bubble line. So desperation is definitely happening. That was not going to work as uh, uh, 82 looking for his third one of the season right now. These guys are still in, but with heavy damage. 99 heavy damage as well. 59 heavy damage. This is going to get crazy here. Um, but uh, let's go to our retiree list. I think it's going to be a little bit longer here. It was a 60. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, they're staying in pit road, but uh, cars are trying to repair and stay in the race. There goes the 18. The 32 to, is still on there. He's trying to beat the pace car off pit road. Will not beat the pace car off pit road. So 82 is going to go down. Right down. Um, seeing uh, the... the um, some of these cars, the uh, 18 will get his lap back on this start. But other than that, Frank Shulton, uh, the retiree out of that, unfortunate. Did not need that, but had a great run. You cannot denounce that. Led some laps. Uh, he is definitely a prospect for the Cup Series next season if he makes the signups. But a uh, lap plus to the... Uh, 18 once we go to the restart I'll say one thing Zach I don't think this craziness is over there's gonna be more yep yep all right it's time by going green once again the 82 has assumed the lead 24 is still there, 99, 59, 76, 81, 42, 51, 23, and 20 are still there as well at the Rickfest at Martinsville. 24 got a very bad start as 82 will assume the lead fairly quickly. Let's see if he can get around turn one all right. Have a clean turn one. Oh, I'm also about for fifth. 76, yep. Oh, 99's are right. Yeah. Another big one. 51 involved. Didn't he make it one lap this time? 99 finally got... You can't be sending every lap, man. What he sends it in and he bounced off a dark ring and... 23, 76, yeah, 51. Only cars I'm concerned about there. And the 99, of course, he's going to lose a lot of spots. So yeah, with that in mind, happy about that. yeah, you don't, you don't do that kind of stuff here. That's just not what you do. 82 able to keep the lead, but under caution again. It, I don't know, Rick Fest, but this one, uh, I don't think the casualties will be as high. 
I say that as we got several cars, several laps down. But uh, currently, I think so he's, as some of the lap cars go back around, is a little bit of parity here. I think the 42 took third there. So three of the four Dawn Patrol cars are in the top 10. The other one is out of the race, I believe. No, I'm mistaken. He is not out of the race. He is two laps down the last car on pace. And uh, I'm not sure even if he's in that much at this point. As the 51 has called a race. Um, unfortunate for them. They were scored 10th of the line. And they did not need that. Second, third, and fourth. That's impressive. See if they can finish that way or better. <laughs> this rate, that is up in the air. But the most wreck, um, wreckiest car in the field, Eli the Wolf, who's caused the most wrecks. Uh, he's been involved in three wrecks and still, still managed to stay in stay in it i'm 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 fairly impressed with that uh one car that one car uh, the the uh 99 in terms of positioning but he is causing a lot of wrecks we have a lot of cars lap down this time it'll be the 23 well 23 will not get the free pass because he was involved in a wreck so that'll be stealing it from the 28 is 51 dropping spots we're going green next time by the 82 getting back laps bank for his playoff um campaign so far that is looking very promising in that 82 car so i guess the question is how long will we stay green or will we have a, another quick yellow hoping we can get a green flag run from here on out hoping praying we're Wait, definitely I'm hoping you are looking to think there were last about 20 left so most laps led is still up in the air. I think the uh, 24 currently in the best spot for looking yeah. to have that. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, ninth and tenth. Yeah, uh, Reggie Fogelman, who is plus 53 and. Jonah Burge, uh, we'll see how he does. Uh, he's currently not in the top 20, so I won't discuss him too much. This is going to be intense. Jeff Squid stuck his way in the top five now. He's finding consistency. 24 is not wasting any time right now. Yeah, it is go time. Ooh, 82 tries to send it. Oh! It did not work. They both crashed. It was not going to work. Necessary. See if they can survive here as a 24 may have gotten more damage than credit, but let's see who was first at the line here is my question because that'll be not only this lap, but at the yellow. I think Jeff Jordan. Nope. Dark X Rain will hold the lead. Did uh, Dark get any damage, though, other from what the AF 82 had? No. They keep it clean. All right. Back up front, Dark X Rain, though, the leader, as the 9 car is in front of him for some reason. I think it's because he's a lap car. He may be one of those cars that are several laps down. Damage, but Eli the Wolf on pit road now. He's, I think his uh, lead lap run is currently over. But uh, nonetheless, Dark X Rain is back in the lead after dumping the uh, 82. Um. I couldn't have, can't fault him. They're not, battling hard for that one lead spot. Not gonna lie, that was kind of clutch. Dang, that's one way to put it. I mean, not the way you wanted to get it, but. That was a sticker right behind that, the Zach. The one, the just one. Right. Zach, there was a second right behind that, not just one. There was another right behind that with the one. The one? Alright. We're having a Mr. Quad. I was told there was another wreck back here. All right, three wide in the corner. Oh, there was a wreck back here. 48 once again has wrecked. Look like the 48, and I think the number 48 again. And of course, drummer 12. Yeah, there's Jeff Squid and. There. Shoot, man, we cannot get a green flag run. Shoot, hate that. That was irritating. 
On the left, though, he's up front. Or he's up front right now. Caution breeds cautions. Caution breeds cautions. Dude. It's like they got more intense. It's like they got worse. I don't get it. Like, they were fine at the beginning. I mean, I wouldn't say fine, but, like, they weren't so intense at the beginning, but now they're just out of hand. Big time. Uh, yeah, these guys are definitely feeling the pressure, Zach. And the 28 car will finally get a free pass. Turn green this time. Shoot. Can we get a green flag run? Hoping. Hell no. <laughs> I think you're right, but one can hope. Well, at least now we're back green, and for now. <laughs> and Geff uh, sends it. Geff looking for his second one of the season as well, and that would put that him off the top of it. rookie of the year standings. Does not give his teammate any room. And uh, cause them to wreck. Wow. Hey, we made a green more than one lap. We made a green more than one lap. We're still green. Here comes quad at the bottom. Cars in the back. Can we make it green a third lap? I don't want this 97 doing what he's doing, but. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Nope. So much for saying green. They almost saved that. Oh. They and almost saved a little it. bit of. Argy bargy. Just almost clear there. Almost. It was so close we to success. So close. We almost made it three laps. We almost did. Uh, we're back to where we were at the start. It's just barely oh. not clear of the... F oh, it was just doomed to failure. Alright. Uh, thankfully, the 59 slowed up fairly quick, but the 82 and the 13 know where to go. Not really a huge... Well... We'll see how that. I don't know what that was about. Uh, well, in the lead would be the one car, and no, Eli the Wolf is not up front. He is a lap down. And uh, from what I'm aware, he will start up front with these guys, unless uh, otherwise happens. All right. So, yeah. is the retiree list uh, get any bigger after that? Not sure, but the 18 will once again be in the free pass position as 28 has been freed up. But uh, the 69, 51 now out of the race. Uh, 21 still 33 laps down. So this is already better than Watkins Glen in terms of. Uh, um, as the laps wind down, the intensity people, is heating up. Since he's been up since lap one. Gosh, these guys cannot make it a lap. <laughs> I mean, that is true. There is a lot of pressure after all. Yeah, this race is officially an L. So, free pass goes to the 18 of Bird, who is somehow still in the race. And the 48 is somehow still in the race as well. I think some of these guys have been involved in like half the wrecks. So, the one car will. Oh, wait. They aren't going green this time? I thought I could pace minus. Shoot. I think there's a little bit of a 3 do thing in turn one that fools me into thinking they're going green. But the one car currently scored as the leader. This is big for him. He is barely about, uh, below the cut line. And so is Zine. So big risk for those two. And Drummer Chick. I think. Kiefer I wouldn't count out. For, let's see what the 99 is. What's the 99 doing? 99. Uh, oh, yeah. Lap. Yeah, lap. Oh, he's going to the back. Yeah, forgot about that. I had that turned on. So these guys have been tooth and nail for the lead here. Zion looking to keep consistent uh, with, I believe, uh, a win in every CCS season he's ran in. That record would uh, follow through 2017, 18, and 19, 22, and this year, if he were to win this year. He has gotten a win in every season so far the CCS that he's been in. We'll see if that trend continues, see if he can do it today. And he is already going for it. Oh boy. Bird back on the lead lap. And Zion put the pressure on the one. Ooh, so and they did tight. not make it a lap. The 26 did not even make it through turn one. Battle 
to the line. This is for the lead. And these guys are literally leaning on each other. He slapped. And 97 will get it. But 42, a gift once again around. And will lose several spots again as he crashes off the corner. Let's see what happened to the 26 of Garth Salamander. What the? He just thought I got dumped. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I'm just surprised. Strip dumped I mean, the guy. I mean, going. So he's not, like, it's not that badly damaged, but. I mean, it's Martinsville, but dang. Didn't take him out of the race, but Zine is your leader. This is big for him, and I can't express how big this is for guys that are up front right now. It's insane. Free pass. I'm telling you that these guys are desperate. All right, free pass to the 32. Despite him not having front end, aerodynamics does not matter too much here, but we'll go. We'll go right next time by. Let's just go ahead and run. I want to say we'll run through these, but that just makes more wrecks. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot to mention there's the grandfather clock on the line after all. So. There's a what? Grandfather clock. Maybe. You know, the Martinville trophy. Pause the game real quick. Um, one thing I forgot to talk about. We have overtime, so unlimited attempts, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's going to be painful. Aren't you not entertained? Um, term, if you like a wreck fest, you're here, but the 24 of Dark Rain is going to pit road. Uh, he may, uh, I'm not sure why he's pitting, but this is going to hurt for him. But despite not, despite this, not a bad day. If DNFs here, he's got a cushion, so it's not all doom and gloom by no stretch. But I, I feel like got to be internal damage. Yeah, you got quite a bit of damage. Um, you've been involved in quite a few wrecks, <laughs> despite being oh, up front man. most of them, because most of them happen right before they cross the line, which is where they solidify their positioning. He's been part of it, and he... Probably started some as well. Yeah, this race will be uh, forgotten about. Looks like he's getting tires. That's interesting. Yeah, you don't want to. I mean, this close to the playoffs, I won't consider this race an L. I mean, in term, I mean, in terms of the race itself, an L. But like in terms of playoff implication, I don't think it's too huge. But 32 will be giving his lap back once we go green. Yeah, we restart. There we go. One more restart, just to get wrecked with two more laps. Heck, Ooh, maybe even one if uh, the 54 wrecks Scar Salamander again. Ooh, that'd be funny. Funny stuff. Quad. quad wants revenge. He's gonna, he's gonna send it. Uh, gonna be close. He saved it. We stay green. No, oh, never mind. We did well, not stay green. They did not Ooh, like how hard he hit the wall there. This is to the caution, the 81 battling hard. Oh, 81, oh, 45's got severe damage. That's going to be bad. But to the line, I think it's the 97. Or no, the 81 maybe? I'm not sure. Is that the, no, 97 is that the 45 on the inside? Or that's someone else? Yeah, 45. Uh, we'll see what happened to him. I don't know if I can blame him or not on this. But we'll see what happened to him. He was very slow on the back straight. What happened? Oh. Good point. Oh, he got turned. They almost made it one lap, man. This is for last place. Last place. What is the 40? Oh, oh my the, gosh. Oh, All those cars have so much damage on several laps down. Uh, he is. I'd be stunned if he continues. Stunned if he continues. He actually does continue. We'll see. We'll see. There's still more pit stops. But uh, 59 is... Barney Thresh for the third and second now. Again, we've talked about that fourth win, but uh, shoot, this race is such a bad race. Uh, I wouldn't even call this much of a win. More of a fluke <laughs> for anybody, really. But Barney Thresh to win uh, here um, would uh, kind of ease the pain of a fluke-like feeling from a win. But this will be more well, of you call it a race or would you call it a demolition derby? I think you're right, Dark. This is a demolition derby. Everyone getting their... Anger out, put on each other. Uh, free pass to go to the 40 as no one has went a lap down that time.
Uh, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of drivers have a lot of red in their eyes, and they're pretty much gonna be more aggressive. Honestly, I'm disappointed with how the setup went, but I think we can get a good one for Kansas. I'm hoping Kansas will put this behind us, and then we'll go to Kansas. And uh, I think um, change something up for setup wise next time we go to Martinsville. Um, but short tracks in NR7 3 have always proved to be quite the challenge to get a good race in. We'll see what we can cook. The playoffs are important. We'll see. Kazo in the 40 will be getting the free pass. It looked like our point leader's in second place. Yes, sir. And here we go. Making the most of a wreck fest. We used to have Brone Crusher on the schedule made for stuff like this. And now we have the field do it for us because, uh, heck, why not? Or heck, because I'm bad at making schedules. Is that Dripsy Shibe sending it? Oh, Barney's in the wall, but they keep it clean. They keep it green. Dripsy, we started pole last week, has a win this season at, uh, I believe it was, uh, what is it, Chicago Land? Not gonna lie, that was a clean slide job. It was. Dripsy. It was. But it's See not if, over uh, yet. See if the 97 yeah, keeps it clean. Tight. He does. He saves it. And they keep it green, too. Oh, wow, what a slide. And I think we are looking for our greenest, longest green fly run. It does not happen. Almost. Hopefully you didn't jinx it. I did. We are under yellow now. I'm not sure why, but 54 will lead to the line. And this would be big for Dripsy as looks to get his points in this in the position. So be real with you. I don't know why we're under yellow. Let's go we to. Had a couple of guys on pit road. It happened in the back stretch. I know that much. Let's see. Uh, do we have a back stretch cam? We don't. All right. Let's go spectator. It's our best way of viewing what happened. So. So here we are under caution. I think it happened just a little bit before. Let me see. Cause I saw somebody pit. I don't know who it was though. Let's see. Okay, these guys are on pit road. I think they have a lot of damage, and they're just trying to make the race. Okay, just so that's just waiting. Oh, 59's in pit road. I'm not sure why. Uh, what? Oh, wait. Yeah, that was... This was uh, after the yellow came out. Hmm. This is... A look like someone's in the door in the yellow, because it looks like... Is that the O4? No, it's not the O4. Alright, yeah, no, the yellow haven't came out yet. Hmm. It's still green at this point. Alright, now it's out. Where does it happen, though, is the question. Let's see. Man, you're in 20th now. Shoot. Oh, Jonah Burge. He didn't need that. Oh, the guy who just got the free pass and Jonah Burge. Yeah, Jonah just didn't give him any room and then yeah, you get bounced Sammy, off Sammy and then Sammy, the wall. Sammy barely avoids it, so shoot. I don't know what to say about that, but uh those guys didn't need that. But uh a lot of those guys that were front, not now. A dark I, I know you pitted, but you still gotta get good thing good thing going. We'll see how it goes. Uh closing the closing laps of this Wreckfest Derby five hundred. Well, that's one way to put it. Wreckfest Derby 500. Drummer Chick 81 will call the race. Unfortunate for them. Dobby oh, Isaac's sure. out. Unfortunate. Um, 45 of um, Zevil will likely lose his position in the playoff standings as he is out. Barney Thresh the third with the free pass. As, uh, hey, actually, aren't you prepared? I'm sitting 11. See how it goes for you. I noticed you've been working around that 11th place spot quite a bit. Well, while it is big in the bank going on, reliability is going to be All right. going to this time. at this point. Points leader, Barney Thresh the third. Uh, he will get the free pass. As Earthfield did not want that. So Dripsy looking for their second win of the season. Zion looking to, like I said, continue that streak. Nataweeb, who's been wrecked several times. Could win this race. That's crazy. Quadruped could win this. And the best thing in part is that none of these guys are giving up. They still think they're in it. Everybody's full sending. Everybody. 
Not a single car is letting off. At all. A green well, flag earlier. Right. One position is a point. Yeah, one position is a point. Oh, is Zion in the wall in the 97? We stay green. This is going to help Dripsy a lot. Yeah, Dripsy's got a big lead here. If we stay green, he's in great shape. Okay, three wide is not going to work. They're going to wreck. They save it, but the 17 does not. Is we are we green? Holy cow! The 17 yeah, we did save green. it. The 17 did save it. All right. If um, we got ourselves a green, boys. Uh, do we though? Do we though? Ooh, three wide. It's gonna be tight. They actually and saved it. But the well, 48 did not. Almost. The second place Look driver of not a weeping quadruped. They, I think they still hold the position too. Yep, they do. This was for the lead. They got around Zion somewhere, and for the lead, so this will quad pop. into the wall and turn number four. Then, so not a weeb will get a lap lead, but Zion more damage. So we'll see how this ends out for him. Uh, they'll rotate back to the positions they were given at the start of this, and the free pass like will go to the. the well, Dark X Rain will get the free pass. As there's only 13 cars on the lead lap now. Well, yeah, he paid it when it was. Yeah. Let's see, everyone's trying to catch the field now. Let him do that is quite a bit of crunching up. I believe a 97 may be holding up to these guys. Let's see. Uh, give him some time. Yeah, these guys are. Figuring it out. And unfortunately, I think the 97 car may have a mechanical issue. Well, cars. in this case, it looks like reliability will be a factor. All right, a lot of cars going to pit road. I think he's able to still go, but. Oh, a little less than 22 minutes going on pit road. Yeah, a lot of cars on pit road. 97 slowing up the field quite a bit. These guys are not catching at all. I will have to add some laps. Yeah, we might 20. need an extra pace lap. It looks like someone either stuck or ran out of gas. Yep. Yeah, as uh, the 97. Uh, yeah, the 21 of Birch Crown Jr. having issues, but. 97 is slow on track. Once he gets up to speed, I think we'll be all right. All right, he is back up to speed. About the uh, 48. I guess he was giving someone else back their position and they didn't take it. Not sure, but these guys... Okay, now these guys are getting their stuff figured out. I'm not sure what was going on there, but I'm glad we did a place plus the 20 car appears to be having some issues. But the field is getting their stuff figured out now. The year corner is going to be a really expensive repair job. Yep. The, uh, that is... Other than the 20, I think that's everybody. 20 may actually be for position. Nah, he was just a lap down at that point where he's at right now, so. Yeah, cause I think he missed entering pit road, and that's how that happened. So, so that was all bundled up. Oh, yeah. Um. Why am I showing eighth, and I'm way back in the back of the line? Because there are some me. lap there are some lap cars in between the leader, and I think that's because they were on pit road when it happened. Yeah, got a few cars was on pit road before the yellow. Yep. And then, yeah, I think some cars had to pit too, like the 97 1 and 48, because they had several damage. So, uh, going green this time, free pass will go to the 24, uh, despite what the thing says. He was leading at the time, he was, he was lapped out at the time of the yellow. Hold on. That's not right. That's not right. Okay. 
field is having some issues. We're going to have to go into overtime here if this field does not get caught up. Yeah, we're going to have to throw it in overtime. All right, manual throw to overtime. These guys are going to race the line as, wow, nobody's there. That's, that's an issue. The floor is drifty versus not a wee, man. Yep, to the line, we are going into overtime because they feel the AI is being stupid. This is Martinsville, folks. Not a single green flag run that went very long as we have to go through this Rick and Moreau once more. But, uh, yep. Yeah. But those that track are definitely getting their money worth. Uh, uh, for Rex, yeah, this, this is just a overtime thrown by the game because the field did not catch the pace. Reason being, I don't know. Let's see who was behind the one car. That would be the 44. Why he's so far back? No idea. All right, so over time, this uh, looking good for Dripsy to get a win. Also looking for good for Nata Weeb. Like, keep in mind, Nata Weeb's been involved in several wrecks, even a couple more wrecks since I made that statement prior. Now the field is where it's supposed to be, I believe, except a couple lap cars here and there, but nothing too Barney's extreme. Barney's in front of me, but he ain't supposed to be. Well, lap cars, uh, they stay where they're at based on what position they're given at the time of when the caution was given, and they were there. Barney with heavy damage still in the race somehow. Staying in the race is big for his points lead. Uh, he was up front at one point. All these cars were this. Well, the last part are definitely going to be a factor. 100%. But... Uh, I think I forgot to turn on the thing where we're like, moving to the back, so we just going to have to deal with it for this, as it will affect the finish, I believe. But uh, this race is already gone, so there's no point in trying to save at this point. It's the 82 who's already a lap, who is a lap car, will be pitting, so that will help these guys up front. We're going to go full on the pace, because not only is it overtime, it is... Um, Martinsville, so, and we had an issue with the restarts last time, so if we can go green for two laps, we're good. This is where the sending would make sense, not the entire race, but this one will definitely go in the books as one of the worst uh, CCS races, but... Who's everybody picking? Uh, I want to say Gunther is going to pull something. He is in third with no front end, so I think he's going to do something stupid. That or Zion, maybe? Quadruped seems like an idiot. He might do some full sends. Uh, Lethal Mourner's in. He's only I'm gonna pick send. myself. Eighth place, two laps, maybe more if there's overtimes. I don't hate your call there. I'm gonna say not a weeb. All right. I mean, he's been either banged around and doing all the banging, so. Yeah, he has had the roughest race, I believe. But uh, again. 24 uh, was supposed to get the free pass at one time, didn't because of the extra caution, so 42 also get a free pass as well. As it wouldn't matter much this race, but they could advance position just a little bit. Let's see, does this any worse? Uh, we have a few less casualties than what we had at. Uh, and they're still they messing up. Okay. They're not even going to make a lap. Alright. We'll have to call this restart good as the cars back there are not on the lead lap. I'm going to say they're not even going to make a lap. If so, we get overtime. Or if not, rather. Well, here we go. Getting the stuff added. Goes to show the damage margin in this field is not enough time left in the race for DQs. 97 gets around the 76 cleanly. One lap, and we did not make it to the uh, one lap. Did we make it? Well, did we miss? No, we didn't. Uh, it depends on what the game says. If we made it, they will not add any more laps there when we go to pit road, and that'll be the race. If they did make it. 
It looks like we're getting. I don't uh, see. Looks like we're getting uh, another restart. So, Div Four Dripsy is going to lead more laps. Dark X Rain, barely see on lead laps. See what happened. So it wasn't this time, but it was. We almost made it. Jerry, look here. Seventeen looks to have had an issue. I think. Guess. So that happened before he got the white, or okay. this happened before he got the white? Yes. Okay, I was making sure. See if we can get a moment of caution here. Right there. So this is moment of caution. Something's there. So who was the one who? This was. So they may have made it actually. I'm not sure. It was close. Yeah, go back to the start finish line real quick and let's see where the yellow comes out. So I think he took the white before the yellow. Ah, uh, Dark nope. X Rain was the reason for our yellow. Let's see. Get a helicopter to get a good idea. Well, that might be the race. Um, we'll see once we go back, but uh, yeah, no. Let's see if the wreck happens here, gets put into the wall. So where are the leaders? Yeah, we'll see yeah. what happened. Um, yep, Let's that I leader. think is the race. Um, I think. We'll see. Yeah, that is the race. Race is declared by the game. It's over. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the moment of yellow. Are we sure? Uh, well, otherwise you wouldn't be running. Otherwise you'd still be running. Let me see. So it wouldn't wouldn't be this lap because he was racing. Yeah, the there, there's the I mean, checkered the flag light. right there. That's the checkered flag. That's it's over. Yeah, so. but he's not across the line, Zach. It he's not matter. across the line. Does not matter. The game calls the checkered flag. It's over. Well, let's see. Why so it took the white down. In that case, we'd be going back to another restart. All right. Yeah. So this, so that would be the checker, which means this would be the white. So he. All right, there you go. Yeah, that that answers white. your question. And yeah, yeah, he took the white because it was still green. All right, and then and the yellow doesn't come off the probably at this moment. All right, so what's TV two give? I want a camera that shows the time of caution on the light because shoot, let's go cock. Let's go this roof cam. So here you go. You see that light yeah. over there? It's green. It's itty bitty. It's green. White and there's the white flag and right there. That's how close it was to Dripsy getting his second one of the season. All right, so there's your finishing hey, results. It was close, so yeah, there's your finishing results. The race see is it. officially over. Yep, that is the race. So Dripsy is your winner of the Wreckfest 500 at the at uh, the Martin Martinville. Ah, uh, twenty-six cars finished. That race sucked. Hey, Anyways, I uh, I gained some points up. All right, well, we'll definitely put this one behind us as uh, one of the worst races in CCS history. We'll see you next week at Kansas, the quarterback race, which will be miles better than this.